What's up, sons? It's Blindrod with Sava Tech once again, and we mined the UU pool for 48 hours, and here's the result. 45? Yeah. Before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. The following is a paid advertisement. Prime XBT is an established trading platform that was founded in 2018 and remained in business through the bear market. From my personal research, there are three main reasons they set themselves apart from other trading platforms. High leverage, low fees, and most importantly, privacy. Prime XBT requires no user information to start trading. The newest module called Covesting allows users to copy the trading activity of other users. Remember, any form of investing comes with significant risks, so do your own research. Use promo code SONOFATECH at sign up for a 50% bonus. All right, so why are we mining the UU pool? Well, they are one of the two pools that supports MEV Geth, or at least supposedly supported it back in January. I'm not quite certain that they do anymore. We'll kind of go over why here in just a second. But because of this, obviously, and the devs going ahead and putting that on a pedestal for us to, uh, you know, be distracted over EIP 1559 and say, well, pools need to do this so miners get paid out more. I decide, well, we better start trying to test it and find things to do. UU pool was mentioned, obviously, in particular so i decided that well we could try to do that i'm not sure if that's even on their public chain though and that's also one of those things that's just a little wild but we did go over to miterpool.stat and we started to find that they were finding a lot of blocks so that was curious in and of itself because if you take a look at their hash rate here they are at now 137.16 giga hash a second. They have gone up when previously, I think even before this, they were around like uh, 90 giga hash a second. But then they were finding a lot of blocks and their blocks, while most of them did average the same as most of the others between that two and three, they also had some blocks that were way up there like this one here, which was nine. And so that nine reward looked kind of interesting, of course, and that is actually happening quite a, quite a bit more often on UU pool than other places and you can kind of see here that it is typically like this uniswap router that's going on and it'll be like a big bump and then it'll dump back down and you can see here we got like just crazy high gas fees so they are getting some blocks that have in really really high transaction fees which was curious so of course i was like well maybe something is going on there because hive on pool wasn't getting these crazy nine eth block rewards so we'll go ahead and give it a shot right and then you can also see here that they are getting pretty frequent blocks for being a pool that only has 110 or 130 now giga hash a second usually you don't see this many blocks going through which i also found curious so we decided to go ahead and give it a shot unfortunately the results didn't prove to be anything better than say something like ethermine or even hivon it is pps plus it is a little difficult to set up and configure if you guys would like a specific how-to on how to configure mining to UU pool because they do use sub accounts as well, which you get some extra added bonus from signing up and using a, a sub account. That aside, we ended up after 48 hours getting paid out 0.3 ETH with 3 giga hash. So that was about 0.15 ETH per day like i said pretty much spot on with hive on and ether mine as it currently sits with my current hash rate so there doesn't appear to be any huge advantage going over here early on in the test it was looking like there was because we were getting some crazy crazy projections and then it kind of just didn't pan out that way so we had to clarify and let you guys know exactly what was going on with this the next pool that we're going to be checking out is going to be spider pool up here and as you can see spider pool is the other essentially the other pool that supports mev supposedly and they have gone up in hash rate quite a bit as well recently with a little bit of a dip and then kind of coming back over here, I think they're at 28.38 terahash, and we will go ahead and see if there's any added benefit to mining to spider pool. I'll be making the switch as soon as we hit the minimum payout on UU pool, and then we'll see if we're seeing anything noticeable. So as with anything that's mining to different pools, it's very hard to get consistent data 
So I don't feel like we have great test data. I have tried setting up two rigs to mine, but the other problem with that is that it really hurts my tracking for the business side of the mining and that's kind of a pain. And then if we just had a couple testing here and there, the payouts would be long and I'm kind of hurting myself there. I'm hurting myself kind of already doing this, but because of the pool hopping, which we explained in our mining video, but we really need to go ahead and try to test it to the best of our ability. It does appear that ETH isn't really going anywhere as far as difficulty wise right now. So we should be okay with it moving slowly with the difficulty rise to go ahead and get a few tests in. We will be looking at it from the perspective of how much ETH we are earning because obviously the price of ETH would affect the the amount of money or USD we're making. So we don't wanna go about it that way. And then we will do another 48 hours on spider pool. And then of course we will be hopping back over to Ethermine to join all y'all here coming up on April 1st. So we have plenty of time to get some testing done. Okie doke. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.